Hey guys, Spiritual Whistleblower here, and guess what? Guess where I'm at right now? Because I'm freaking tired. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. O'Hare National Airport. I am in Chicago. What's good? Chi Town. I have landed. I have arrived. It is late Friday night. But as promised, I said I would come. Tomorrow is my event, the brunch. Okay? The brunch is at 1 p.m. Chicago time. When I say I'm going to show up and be somewhere, you better fucking believe I'm going to show up and be somewhere. So all my people in Chi-Town, y'all been buying tickets last minute. Yesterday, y'all was hitting me up. You still have time. Uh, we're going to be in the Rolling Meadows area, if you're familiar with Rolling Meadows. Um, it's going to be on the, not technically the rooftop, more so like a penthouse. I'll give y'all that, that much information. Our brunch is going to be in a penthouse of a certain location, and you won't find out the location until you purchase your ticket. So um, we will have catered food. I'm really excited. We have cocktails. My sponsor, Jay's Elixirs, yes, she sent the pink whistle teeny, so you guys will get to sample um, my signature cocktail tomorrow, but gourmet food. I have a chef making wonderful brunch dishes for us. Uh, book signing pictures, you know, Q and a everything. Where's the damn baggage claim? Oh, straight ahead. O'Hare is such a big airport. It's not as big as some of the others I've been in, but this is a pretty big airport. I don't like walking unless I'm walking through New York city. I hate walking through really big airports. But anyway, it's late, but I just wanted to tell my people from Chi-Town I have arrived. Now, y'all know Detroit. I will be in Detroit uh, tomorrow night. Once I wrap up in Chicago, I'm flying straight out of Chicago to Detroit because Sunday I have my other NARC support meetup, okay? meet and greet and that's going to be really nice that's in farmington hills in detroit that's at 6 p.m sunday night on the 4th okay is this the baggage claim where the hell am i going i don't know what the fuck i'm doing okay yeah here's the baggage claim so um earlier today i made a video y'all y'all was cracking up and um it did very well on tiktok it's still actually my numbers are doing good but i was talking about the well-dressed dusty what the fuck is a well-dressed Dusty? A well-dressed Dusty is a fucking man, a fucking hypocrite that lies all the fucking time about his income, how much money he makes, um, what he drives, who he lives with. You know, he might live with his mama. He might lie and say that he just bought a house, but he's really renting. Um, or he lives with his baby mama. He's just a fucking liar. And he don't really make all the money he claims he do. Um, I forgot to mention this morning, and maybe I should do a separate video. These types of dusty ass men are leeches. You do know they like to leech off of people that do actually have money and shit. They leech off of people that have their shit together. They be well dressed, well groomed, popping all this shit about what they got when they really don't got it. And the whole time they're jealous and envious of people that do have success and wealth. And they will expect you to pay the tab. They will expect you to pick up the tab and, and uh, you know, they'll be in your pockets expecting you to pay for every fucking thing. Yet they're the ones lying about their income. Oh, I make six figures. Oh, I this, oh, I that. Oh, I drive this, oh, I drive that. Gotta let the announcements roll. I love Chicago. Um, the, the greatest sign that you're amongst a well-dressed Dusty is you got to check his behavior with, when he's around people versus when he's alone with you because it's, the behavior doesn't math up. It's, it's, it's inaccurate. It's inconsistent. When he's around people, in front of people, he shows off or he talks about, you know, his high-paying job that he doesn't really have, you know, um, he tries to act like he's bougie. He tries to act like he has some sort of etiquette in class 
when he's really fucking tasteless and a fucking cheapskate, a cheapskate. When you get him behind closed doors, when nobody's looking, you're gonna find out just how fucking cheap he is with his fucking money and how he expects you to pay for everything. And let me explain something, ladies. This is not for straight men. I know gay men that behave like this. Okay, don't get it twisted. Nar narcissists are gay. A lot of them are gay or can be. So it's, it's not just straight men, it's also gay men living a fucking facade, pretending to have shit and they don't have shit. And they be all in your pockets leeching when nobody's looking at you. They're tight fisted. They're tight with their fucking money. You don't want to hang with a fucking leech. At least I don't. Someone living a lie, a facade about their, their income and, and what they were. They're trying to be bougie when they know the fuck they not. No class. No etiquette trying to keep up with people that do actually have class and etiquette. I'm over it, but listen y'all, I'll do a, a whole separate video in depth when I get settled down. I got a busy day tomorrow. I'm trying to go, uh, I got to pick up my baggage. I got to go pick up my car rental then check in my hotel. But Chi-Town, Chicago, what's good? Your girl is here. I made it to the airport. And I'll, I'll see y'all tomorrow for the pop-up brunch. Love you guys. Have a good night, spiritual whistleblower. And get your tickets. I have some left. All right, Chicago, later.